Hi, my name is Ray Segoviano, and I'm with Dick Procrastor Jeep in El Paso, Texas. Uh, dealer code 08397, and this is the introduction to the 2011 Grand Cherokee. After seven years of, 70 years of branded tradition and 20 years of Grand Cherokee heritage, this leads us up to the 2011 Grand Cherokee. Everything has been reimagined and redesigned from the ground up with the customer in mind. Still keeping the traditional seven slot grill with the round headlamps with available xenon high intensity discharge headlamps with auto leveling and smart beam technology to keep your lines in the road at all times. Now everything as far as even as far as tight and uh, fit and finish on the vehicle has been also changed to improve the fuel economy. For example, your lower front end fascia, which improves the fuel economy, which is also removable for best in class ground clearance on the Grand Cherokee. Now you have two options as far as engines. You have a 3.6 liter and a start engine which gives you 11% added fuel economy over its predecessor engine, which produces 290 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Now you also have an available 5.7 liter heavy engine with multi-displacement system. Travels between four and eight cylinders depending on conditions and depending on road conditions. Now both are metered to an automatic five-speed automatic transmission um, with three different options as far as four-wheel drive system. You have your standard quadra track one system, which is a single-stage electronic four-wheel drive system. And of course, you also have your Crowder Track 2 system, which is a two stage your four high, four low, and your neutral, which most people are used to. Of course, you also have top of the line Quadra Drop 2, which is also four low, four high, your neutral, but you also have a gear select range, which you can actually manually select by different let, uh, settings depending on the terrain you're on. Now, of course, over here on the side, still keeping the trapezoidal wheel wells, which house an available 17, 18, and 20 inch wheel with, of course, analog brace system. You also have a tire pressure monitor system on all tires to alert you in case of any type of uh, pressure loss. Now, of course, also redesigned steering and suspension. You have a short and long arm uh, front independent suspension with a multi link rear suspension on the vehicle itself. The vehicle is also a stronger unibody design, 146% stiffer than its predecessor, with over 5,400 wells to the body alone. You also have a quad drive airlift system, which basically what it does is it also improves your suspension. Lifts the suspension depending on the mode you're on. Uh, gives you a best in class 10.7 of ground clearance when you're uh, off road mode. Also, lower the vehicle down to uh, basically 1.5 lower than when it's normal setting uh, upon exit and upon entering the vehicle while you're in park. Now, if you're following me around this way, now on your driver's side, you have an enhanced vehicle information system, electronic vehicle information center. Programming in which way you like. Also, you have stereo mounted audio controls. Of course, you also have your fog lamps, full power options, power windows, power locks, power side mirrors. Now, of course, you also have a standard eight-way driver power driver seat. You also have power lumbar. You have a two-driver memory system, which is available. Of course, everything is designed to have basically the most amount of comfort while also viewing the vehicle, of course. Now, also available in the vehicle, you also have a standard electronic stability control to give you the most amount of traction control, no matter what the road conditions are, with roll mitigation electronic roll mitigation. This be old system designed to keep you in control of the vehicle while you're on two-wheel drive. You also have a hill descent where you're going down to help you slow the vehicle down without having to use your brakes as much. And the hill uh, assist uh, start system, so in case you happen to be uh, starting the vehicle and you're at an incline. Now if you follow me around to the back of the vehicle. Now, when it's equipped with the available tow package on the vehicle, on your V6 Pentastar engine, it can tow up to 5,000 pounds. On your Hemi, your V8 engine, can tow up to 7,400 pounds, which is best in class. You also have a trailer sway dampening system, which kind of helps you when you happen to be trailering anything behind you and you get caught in the cross paths of any type of wind. The one thing I did forget to mention on the other side, though, is you have an available driver, uh, it's a blind zone alert system. Uh, what it also does is you also have a rear cross pass detection system. Sensors built into the rear panel of the vehicle. Anything happens to be in your blind spot, what it'll do is it'll alert you before you're switching lanes. It will give you an audio and a visual alert that will be built into your side mirrors. So that way, just in case, just another safety feature that Jeeps come out with. Now, also on your back, you have an approved 36 cubic feet of interior cargo room in the back. Now, it's also 60-40, which I'll show you on the other side right now. But with the seats down, folded flat, you have 68 cubic feet of interior space. So you can load larger objects, uh, luggage, anything like that, or if you're like my sister, just have it stacked to the very top. Of course, in the back too, you also have a full-size spare tire, two removable storage trays or bins. Use it for anything you want, store stuff in there as well too. Drop this down 
Also, if you have anything in the back, let's say you ended up having a, an emergency flat tire, you took it off, you didn't want to get it on the carpet, this will actually flip around too. You can actually put this part right here so you don't have to worry about getting your carpet dirty. And of course, you also have a connection right here, basically hook it up. So that way you don't have to worry about holding it while trying to take everything out. Now the other thing about it too, on the back right here, as of course traditional on all Jeeps, you have your tie down system. If you don't want to just line it around the back, you have your hooks right here, of course. You have straps right here. Hook anything down. Of course, you also have a power outlet built into it. Now also available on your lift gate right here is a power lift gate. So that way you can basically just freeze up your hands too. You also have a keyless enter and uh, exit, basically enter and go system. What it does is basically adds convenience. In case you happen to have your hands full, all you have to do is basically, as long as you have the key on you in a purse pocket, all you do is you pull the handle, automatically unlocks the doors for you. Also, push of a button uh, with your foot off of the brake, we'll turn all your electronics on. When you have your foot on the brake, we'll turn the engine on. Now, of course, you also have an available Park sense, basically sensors built in where you're backing up, gives you a visual and audio alert, plus a rear back, uh, park view camera. So when you're backing up, gives you a visual display of anything that happens to be behind you. Now if you come this way right here, now your passenger seat, of course 60-40 split bench, real easy to drop down, holds flat, gives you the most amount of added room in case you need it, plus also four inches into your uh, added leg room for best in class uh, room in the back. Now, of course, you also have vents built into the back. Now, right here, also on the side, as far as safety in mind, you also have next-generation multi-stage airbags built in driver, passenger. You also have side curtain airbags and side thorax airbags to protect everybody in the vehicle at all times. You also have an available 6.5-inch entertainment system, which is touchscreen, basically program anything you like. Of course, you also have your Uconnect, you uh, pair your phone to the system. Of course, available Garmin uh, navigation system. You also have a flip down screen with Sirius Backseat TV and Flow TV so you can watch all your channels at all time. Uh, contrast stitching, you also have an available leather interior. On your leather interior you have heated uh, front, available heated front, also heated rear seats with vented seats in the front. Now on your Overland you can actually get available Napa leather with real wood. Of course also on your heated seats you can also get the option of a heated steering wheel as well. Now this is the 2011 Grand Cherokee. Everything's redesigned uh, for noise, uh, harshness, for every type of dampening. Cabin's really uh, extremely quiet. What I recommend for is go ahead and take a seat right here, take it out for a drive, feel the Grand Cherokee for yourself. Once you drive it, once you feel it, I'm sure you'll love it. Thank you.